All right, our first lecture on correlation regression, hold on tight. So, first thing you need to understand is linear correlations. Linear is just a version of line. So we're talking about relationships between two variables that you can summarize with a straight line. And if you look at the word correlation, it really is just mean it's a fancy way of saying co-relationship, so the relationship between two variables. Um, so that's one definition. Another definition here, it's a linear pattern of relationship between one variable X and another variable Y. Okay, and it's also important to recognize we now have a new type of statistic that is not univariate like the ones we've looked at so far with the mean, standard deviation, all that stuff. It's bivariate. There's two distributions, and we're looking at the relationship between those two distributions. So bi as in bicycle or two. So what we'll do now is, first of all, give you a simple example of how correlations can be useful for research. And then we'll talk about uh, the different kinds of correlations, positive and negative, or when there's no correlation, that's a zero correlation. So what's the use of correlations? The key value is if you have an idea that two variables should be related, you can check and see if the data suggests that. So here we have IQ and number of books owned. You put IQ on the x-axis and number of books owned over here on the y-axis. And if as IQ goes up, we should see a pattern where number of books goes up. And it looks like that. We'll learn here in a second this is a positive relationship. Or you might have some idea that um, the personality factor agreeableness would help you predict whether or not a certain child is going to have uh, behavior problems. So as agreeableness increases, look and see whether or not behavior problems go down. And the data appear to fit that pattern, where if we were to draw a straight line to summarize the linear relationship between the two variables, it would slope down to the right, which means as agreeableness goes up, behavior problems go down. So it's for testing those kinds of um, theories where you think two variables should be related to one another. So what does a linear relationship look like that's positive? Well, imagine the relationship between SAT and GPA. As SAT happens, what happens to GPA? It tends to go up. So we call this kind of, scatter, uh, this kind of diagram a scatter plot because it's like a scattering of dots. And we get these dots by taking the scores of a person on both the SAT and the GPA and plotting those. So this person got a 500 on the SAT and got a 3.0 in terms of their GPA. If we were going to summarize that with a line, the line would fall in like that. And we'll learn, that's called a regression line. We'll learn how to do that in later lectures. So one way of telling what kind of relationship it is, is the thumb test. If one variable goes up and the other variable goes up, that's a positive relationship. They move in the same direction. Or if one variable goes down, the other variable tends to go down. The other way of saying that, if you look at the graph here, high scores go with high scores. Low scores on one go with low scores on the other. Okay, and then we'll learn a bit later how to calculate R, but R tells you how strong the relationship is and what direction it's in. This just for just so you know, is a R value of about 0.69. The, the second kind of relationship is a, a negative relationship. And in this kind of relationship, as one variable goes up, the other one goes down. So it should make sense. As someone has more absences from their classes, their GPA is likely going to be lower. Um, this one, uh, in terms of the thumb test, you have one variable going up and the other variable going in the opposite direction. So... As absences go up, GPA goes down. If absences were going down, GPA would go on up. You can try that with your own thumbs. Okay, and so this would be a negative relationship. The line slopes down to the right. And this would be a little bit stronger than the previous slide, uh, which was a 0.6-something. This is a 0.7, so the line's a little steeper. Uh, and also, it, it's in a different direction. That's what the negative tells you, that it's a negative relationship. Okay, there's also situations, many situations, where there's two variables that have no relationship. So if you think about shoe size and GPA, at least in the world I live in, those two things should not correlate. So um, what's that going to look like? Well, 
it's just going to be a scattering of dots that don't have a linear pattern sloping up to the right or sloping down to the right. They're just all over. And then in that case, the best guess would just be whatever the mean of y is. Um, we'll talk more about that later, but basically you get a straight line. Um, and in this situation, as one variable goes up, you don't know what's going to happen to the other one because they're not related to each other. Uh, no. Now, to actually get an r equal to exactly zero is pretty rare. Usually what happens is the r is small enough that you think, hmm, maybe in the population, maybe there really is no relationship. But we'll, um, in a later lecture, talk about how you know if a given r can be trusted or called what we call significant. Okay, so just a little bit of scatter plot practice to make sure you understand how this works. You have, um, what I've done is plotted the first three rows of data over here, and I want you to plot the last three, and then down here I want you to plot the last three of those. So hit stop now, and uh, when you've done plotting those, you can restart the video and check to make sure you got it right. All right, you should have gotten something like this. So three dots up there, three down here, and then this kind of um, maybe sword looking kind of thing. Okay, at this point, things that you should know, um, what it means to say there's a linear co-relationship or correlation, univariate versus bivariate, what positive, negative, zero relationships look like, what scatter plots are, how they're constructed, and what the slope indicates about the relation type. Relationship type. Again, if it slopes down to the right, that's positive. If it slopes, excuse me, if it slopes up to the right, that's positive. If it slopes down to the right, it's negative.